Hello, my name is Agathis and I'm online and I'm about to play Kingdom Come Deliverance. By Warhorse Studios. Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. Cool. I love that introduction. I love that uh, medieval style art that they've produced. It's really great. Now, I have, uh, I've run the game once, actually. I played through a little bit of the introduction, but the sound didn't come out very well. So I'm recording this a second time as it happens, uh, with the sound a lot higher. Not sure why it was so bad. So, we are going to get the prologue, uh, the, I suppose the, the first chapter, the prologue chapter, underway with a new game. Let's see what we get. Warhorse Studios, there they are. The early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the Holy Roman Empire, which had flourished under the late Emperor Charles IV. But now, with his son Wenceslas the Idol on the Bohemian throne, it was falling into disrepair. The king's inactivity angered many of the nobility, as well as his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary who apparently came to restore order to the empire. Look at this, beautiful countryside, babbling brooks, great lighting. Warhoffs have really done a great job on this. It's fantastic. Peasants, roads, horses, castles. Silver Scallops is where we are, 1403. So, some 610, 615 years ago or so. Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're looking at the town of Scallops, famous for its silver mine. There's the mine itself. Dozens of men and women working away. Mostly men, I presume. A group of knights and uh, an impressive looking noble with a bowl haircut patrolling around the castle.
busy marketplace, people buying and selling, guards in the background, and a pretty looking woman with a basket. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Cheeky. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. Mother! Mm. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told... Oops. Just pause that there. I'm going to turn the sound up a little bit more. Told you about fighting. Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <sighs> So, look, that's us. It's me. It's him, me and him. Uh, I couldn't get hold of a red hood quick enough um, for the release of the game, but this one looks pretty decent, actually, I think. Um, the purple one. It's pretty a close match. skate you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Good question. Now, by means of the first two choices in the first dialogue of the game, you get to select your character's default characteristics. So we have speech, agility, vitality, strength, that kind of thing. Very similar to many other RPGs. And um, instead of just selecting them from a menu when we start the game, we choose them in character. So um, let's just go with uh, the default. We were chatting in the tavern all night. Uh, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world and, um, well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Mm. Um, what else could we go for? Do we want to go for agility or vitality? Or strength? Um, let's go for agility. No, it's just... Matthias was teaching me archery. Archery? Do you want to become a poacher? No. Have you any idea of the punishment for that? And where did you get a bow, anyway? Oh, come on. I've no interest in poaching. It's just a bit of fun. Oh, Christ, give me strength. Just don't do anything stupid. For the love of God. Promise. I promise. I promise. So, that's it. Um, let's see. We've got some conversation options here. Let's ask about our friends. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Um, 
I think you must be misjudging, my friends. That's unfair. Really? So where were you until the small hours last night? I was... with Bianca, of course. You mean at Bianca's tavern? And who was there with you? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. Matthew and Fritz. Well, at least you were with Bianca. You should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. And invite her for supper sometime. Your father's very fond of her. Of course he is. He thinks he'll be able to wheedle the secret of beer brewing out of her. <laughs> You're right there. You'd think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's not a bad hobby. For you. At least he's interested in something, unlike you lot. You're too busy getting into mischief to do an honest day's work. If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way, they'll wind up swinging one day. You mark my words. Uh, let's see, I'm hungry. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Okay. Uh, is Dad angry at me? Is Father angry with me for sleeping late? He's I not would be. happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Okay, that's the dialogue done. So, we can move around using WASD. Um, we can sprint using shift, we can space jump, and we can walk with caps lock. That's fine. Um, so, let's see what we can find to eat. Cheese? We can take that. See, look, we've got a body. We've actually got a body and arms that we use to pick everything up. That is pretty cool. You don't get that in many games. Uh, what's in the basket? Nothing. Uh, we can eat from the pot. We eat some lentil stew. Okay. Pick up some apples. Apple. 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 Can I get that apple? Yep. Thank you. Uh, what's the bag thing? A bread roll, I'll take that. Mm. Oh, I've got to jump on the table, jump on the bench, lentil soup, apple, apple, a bread roll, and another apple. So this is not like Skyrim or Fallout, where you can just take everything. You can't take these cups, the bowls, the candle, you can't steal the boxes and the the chairs and the broom and everything. Uh, you can take a few things which are relevant, the rest is mostly just scenery. Um, we've got a chest here. We can take um, some items out of here. But I think we'll leave those in there for now. Um, what else have we got that we can take? Anything on the top shelf? Nope. Uh, we've got some wood. Um, we've got a, another door. What do we have here? Sack of onions! 15 onions! We could... Oh, we can't take these. These are marked... Um, if we take these, that would be stealing. And one of the things that's been sort of advertised or pronounced in the game is that a lot of things have consequences. Um, again, like Skyrim and Fallout, you can't just pay off your bounty and that's it. Uh, apparently it doesn't work that way. So, I'm not going to steal from our own family anyway. What have we got? Carriages? That would be stealing. Uh, more cheese? I'll take cheese. 
and bread. Um, there's apples, beets, bread and onions. These would not be stealing. Maybe these belong to us. So we'll take all of those. Apples. Yeah, that'd be stealing. Mm. Cabbages and carrots. Stealing. More stuff. Stealing. Yeah, this will all be stealing, so let's leave this stuff. Nope. Nope, nothing there. Okay. Let's call that quits then. Uh, outside. Oh, what a bright day. Here we are. Here's our house. Look at it. Traditional sort of wooden and some uh, whitewash on there. Painted house. There's mother. Does she have any other options for us? How are you, Henry? How are we? We're okay. Uh, that's the same options as before, so no thanks. Got a pot of food? We just ate. Let's, let's eat this again. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, nice. We can cook stuff. We got a basket. Can we pick up this axe? No, nope, can't pick that up. Jugs, water, no. Uh, around the back. We can jump. We can go up here. Under the tree. Look over the battlements at the countryside. Nothing much left. Chicken hut. Nope. Nothing there. Uh, we could get washed. You won't get any cleaner washing in a trough. For that you need the baths. So we must be fairly clean right now. Alright. Little pergola with some beans or something growing. Little garden, that's cool. Whoa, I look this this I found out, right? You don't just jump. I mean you can jump. Like that, that's fine. If you jump at an obstacle, you vault over it. Isn't that cool? You you actually see him put his hand on it and vault over. That's cool. Uh, there is a bit of a problem with this game I have found is that um, some of the, the movement is very, very quick. I'm not talking about FPS here. I'm talking about the fact that if you vault over something, the camera moves dramatically without you doing anything. Um, and you actually have footsteps. You, you sort of very slightly move side to side when you walk. Unlike a lot of other games where it will just keep the camera still all the time. So you can see it's a little bit here. Um, it's a little bit disorientating, but I think it's good. It's good. So, let's talk to Father. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? Right. Persuasion. Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goals. When talking to people, you could often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. You can simply use speech, which, however, is influenced by the reputation you have at that moment with the person you're talking to. So that's just a, a mouth sort of symbol. In the Middle Ages, social status was paramount. So the quality of your attire and how well groomed you are, together with your reputation, can make a big difference to how people respond to you. And there we have a crown symbol. There's a sort of a crossed sword symbol. So if you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you and also be willing to assign risky tasks to you. Now, I, like I say, I've still only done the prologue um, here, but 
that sounds really cool. So, if you are dangerous, if you're a combat person, um, you might be sent on harder missions or harder quests because of your reputation as a fighter, or you look like a fighter, or you really are a fighter. Um, to the point where perhaps you could be t sent on stuff that's way too difficult for you. So this is mainly influenced by your strength and the deterrent effect of your weapons and equipment. But other things are also taken into account, such as bloodstains on your clothes. You can sometimes rely on money to do the talking for you. You just have to agree on a persuasive sum. Bribing people works in the same way as shopping, and there'll be more on trade and haggling later. In special cases, you can try any of Henry's other skills, for example, horsemanship. It's not only the manner of persuasion that's important, but also the specific offer, because that sometimes it's not enough to choose according to your highest characteristics. You really have to read what Henry is going to say. So, we need to think about that. I know a lot of people have played the beta, and... Um, there are people who are doing Let's Plays of this game right now, you know, straight out of the gate. I'm going to say this, and I don't care if I get any flack for it. From what I've seen so far, in the early, uh, say, first two hours of play, Henry is kind of a dick. <laughs> He's a, I don't know, a 17, 18 year old, son of a blacksmith, country boy, um, at that sort of age where he can drink and kind of do what he wants. And, yeah, he's not, he doesn't really care much about other people that much. Um, sometimes he says some things that really, you know, the slightly older and wiser of us, even even if you're in your 20s, you, you, you would think, mm, probably shouldn't have said that, I wouldn't have said that. But you have to read Henry a little bit, and you'll get to know him anyway. Um, but maybe that will change. Maybe he will change as the story goes on. Different approaches work on different people. You won't intimidate a tough brawler easily, and no matter how well you dress, you won't impress the nobility easily. That's because Henry's abilities aren't simply assigned a universal value, but compared with the abilities of his counterpart. You can see the values of the various abilities in the game under the corresponding icons. You can always see your own abilities. Your counterpart abilities are visible to you if it's someone you know well, or if you're skilled at reading people. Learned the per perk Empathetic. So, it's not just about stats. The outcome is influenced by other factors. For example, your reputation, whether you're dirty or bleeding, if you can't outdo the nimble tongue of a merchant, for example, you may want to poison him a little first, and then he'll be easy to persuade. Or, if you lead a guard away from his friends, he'll be easier to scare. So there's a set of icons under here, with the, the speech symbol, the royalty social symbol, the combat symbol, comparing Henry against a guard and his reputation. So you can kind of see what's, what's going on there. Um, so we can just use our speech skill, but our higher skill is our, is our social skill, our nobility score. So let's choose that. Sorry, I wanted to have a look around. Sorry, Father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Hmm. Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. That happens. Oh, my boy, when are you going to get some sense? So we succeeded there. Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. Okay. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Okay. Kunesh. Not drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Hmm. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. 
If not, tell them that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so Her make sure Bianca, Bianca Dad. draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. So there we go. Got our first quests and a bit of a hint about them. Most of the quests can be completed in different ways. Eloquence will help you win friends. An inconspicuous person can totally avoid trouble. And if you'd rather not beat about the bush, violence can also be a solution. So Dad's back working on the forge. Let's leave him to it. So here's the town. Uh, but our first stop, I guess, is going to be the castle. Head up here. We can sprint up the hill. Up, up, up. And you can see down the bottom our stamina is draining. That's the grey bar down at the bottom. So it's it's full when it's yellow like this. We've got two guards to talk to. Hello, boys. Cutscene. Got be with you. Hmm. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? <sighs> Where shall I start? <laughs> ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Okay. So we've got our... Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. So, we got the cross guard at the castle, so that's done. Um, anything else around here? Little trail around the back. Uh, we can just sort of look out over the battlements. This is a this is a proper castle. Oops. Uh, but not a very big one. It's just a wooden stockade. What do we got in here? Anything? Like a chicken area, pigsty. A barn. Yep, barn of hay. Nothing we can pick up. Can't pick up the bucket or the rake. Horses. Good horsey. Never stand directly behind a horse, by the way. Bad idea. Guy with some hay. Nope. Okay, he's stoned. Now we can head down into the town proper, I guess. So we can find all the information about the quests in our log. And for clarity, they are also indicated on the map. As well as on the compass at the top of the screen. So we get a nice map. There we go, we've got four tasks left. So one was at the castle. Now we've got to get the debt from Kunesh, get the charcoal at the market, um, let's be, something's supposed to be there, come on, oh wow, I didn't, I never zoomed out this far. So that, this is presumably going to be the whole map one day. That's pretty big. Wow, look at that. 
So we're just in this top little corner with the village of Scalets. There's the, our, our grindstone. That's the town of Scalets. That's a fast travel point, I think. Go to the sword fighting lesson. That's the other one. And buy ale at the tavern. Okay. And we get a journal. Uh, this is the main quest line. Go to the sword fighting lesson, buy a bag of charcoal, collect the debt from Kunesh, and buy ale. And you get a sort of a little journal entry um, from, from Henry. I started getting some training in sword fighting from a mercenary who turned up in Scalets recently. Mother and father mustn't find out. For some reason, they don't want me to learn to defend myself. I got a bit of a cut in yesterday's lesson, though. We're supposed to meet by the alehouse again today. I have to go to the market and buy charcoal for father for the forge, so we can finish the sword for Sir Radzik. Great. I've got to get the money for the other things from Kunesh, who owes father money. He's too soft on that drunk. I suppose he feels sorry for Kunesh since his wife ran off, but I'll be damned if I know how I'm supposed to get money out of him. It goes without saying, I also have to bring ale for father. I've been doing that since I was big enough to carry the pitcher. Fresh and cool as always, to quench the heat of the forge. But I'll have to get that last, so it doesn't get warm. So, we've got to pay attention to these little details, so we have to get that last. Noted. We've got no side quests. That's fine. We also get a, a cool codex here. Which gives us little snippets of information on things that we're going to encounter in the game. So, for example, you get little snippets on um, various um, Dramatis Personae, various VIPs in the game, like Charles IV, um, Sigismund of Luxembourg, um, Wenceslas IV, our king, our rightful king, it sounds. Um, all the tutorial stuff is also in here. You've got your quest log. Um, I'm clicking on the horse icon, but we don't have a horse yet, I guess, so that's no use. And us as a player. And um, we have ranks in um, our main level. We've got ranks in strength, agility, vitality, all that kind of stuff. We're currently sitting at 100 health, with 115 stamina, 100 energy, all good. We also have further skills which we might learn during the game. Skills in combat, alchemy, drinking, hunting, reading, stealth. Buffs, uh, our current reputation in Scalets is 100. Because, you know, we're a law-abiding son of the blacksmith, everyone likes us. And that's about all. Plus our inventory. So we now have um, the cross guard for the new sword in the inventory. <coughs> Let's head down the hill to the town itself. You run. These two, are, these two are talking. We must have missed the first line of the dialogue here, though. <laughs> Which king do you mean, Master Tobias? The one sitting in some godforsaken dungeon, or the one who holds the key to the dungeon? These are strange times. Strange and ill-omened. But since I serve our liege lord, Sir Radzik, I think you know the answer. True, but where will Sir Radzik take the silver? Hardly to Kuttenberg. Now its citizens bend their knees to Sigismund. Unfortunately, that's not my problem. Perhaps Sir Radzig is keeping it at the castle until this whole unhappy story reaches its end. I only hope Sigismund doesn't get an appetite for our silver, too. That makes two of us. But back to business. I'll need three wagon loads. I see your people are working hard. You'll have it tomorrow. Can we go and drink to the deal? With pleasure, good man. So they've just done a deal for some charcoal. I need to talk to this guy as well. If it's charcoal, you won't talk to my hired hand. I've no time now. Okay, he's too important to deal with us. But we can talk to the hired hand. The 
Charcoal Birder's Helper, okay. Cutscene. How are you? Right, let's talk trade. There's nothing else to talk about, apparently. So we need charcoal. We need ten. So we've added ten to our basket, I guess. Let's check our basket. It's just like Amazon, really. You add stuff to your basket and uh, then you go to PayPal. Charcoal, ten. That's going to cost us... Um, it's it's 0.5... Um, Grolschen is the currency here, by the way. 0.5 Grolschen each. Um, there's ten of them, so we need a five Grolschen. And we've got none. So that that's not much good. Uh, so we're supposed to go and get tools from Kunesh. Or get money from him, at least. Perhaps we could sell something. Let's sell all the apples. The bread rolls. Uh, sell the cheese. Sell three cheeses. Sell the lentil soup, maybe. And the onion? Sure. Oh, that would get us 6.4. That would be enough. Um, we keep some bread. Let's sell the beets. That would get us 7.6. So, check the basket. We're buying charcoal. We're selling all this stuff. Now, we can close the deal or we can try to haggle. So, hold down X to haggle. <coughs> See what he says. Let's have a word about the price. Sure, why not? So, we're going to get money here, right? Right. Haggling works both ways, whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear. Select the amount you want to pay or get. W and S to confirm with E. The trader will then respond to your offer. If the answer is a refusal, he will make a counter offer and wait for your response. So, the easiest way to see this um, is just to do it, to be honest. So, uh, we would be getting 7.5. We could just offer to get 1, or we can try and get 14. But let's see if he'll give us. Eight instead of seven and a half. What do you say to this? A nice sum. Just lower your demands a little and we'll agree. He didn't like that at all. So he'll... We know where eight is. He wouldn't accept it. So... I guess we have to take seven and a half. Well, that's a decent price. That's a shame. I was hoping to get a bit more than that, but okay. At least we've got the charcoal, and we got rid of some some food that we found. Um, what's next on the list? Who have we got here? Hey, ah, ben, the combat master. Do you want to learn something? Sure. No, I don't think so. Oh, thanks. Suit yourself. He wasn't talking to you. He's talking to me. What does he have to say? Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Sure, let's go. 
Let's yes. take our sword fighting lesson. All right. I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Okay, he's gonna go up towards the sheepfold. Um, let's see what else is there. So we can follow him up the hill. So we are kind, we are still in the tutorial part of the game, basically. Um, we can walk, walk at normal walking pace. And we're going to head up the hill along the path. So what have we done? We've got um, we've got the cross guard, we've got the charcoal, we need to sort out Kunesh. And then once we've had this lesson, um, we can get the ale. So there's actually a sheep, actually a, a flock of sheep, all kind of milling about. All in that way that sheep actually do and they just follow each other. They are way too quiet. They are way too quiet for real sheep, though. Real sheep make a racket. Okay, let's see what happens next. So, can we get started? We can. Let's go. We can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other. You can show me everything I've taught you so far. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Alright. So, this is the tutorial. Um, so when you are facing an opponent, you get this sort of little star symbol. And it gives you the five directions from where you can attack. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. So if you want to slash from the right, we select right and then click the left <coughs> mouse button. We can slash from the bottom left. Uh, right again. <coughs> Uh, bottom right. Yep, he keeps blocking, but that's okay. Top. Left, side, slash. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Right, so slash stabbing with the right mouse button is, um, is our light attack, our fast attack. So, quick jab. Uh, depending on which side we go from. Uh, from... Bottom. There we go. Three of those good, done. Good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. So, uh, right side, left side. That was one, so again, right side, left side. Good. Top. Good. Bottom. There we go. He can defend because he's really good. Right side. Left Good. side. Oh, I got him. Did I hit him? So I'm just mashing the right mouse button now. Alright. That's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. Okay. Good to know. Um, yeah, good to know. You can also do sneaking, you can use C to crouch and you sort of bend over. Uh, people see you and think you're kind of weird though. Okay, that's that done. Um, what else do we have? We need to go to the tavern. 
Can we talk to anybody here? We could talk. We could talk to the gambler. Okay, somebody's gambling. Good health to you. So we can play dice. I've got a bit of coin today. What better way to use it than a game of dice? So uh, you can play dice, and it's kind of a double or nothing kind of deal. Um, we'll go for ten. No, we'll go for five. Let's gamble with five. Because we've got what we need. Right. So, the tutorial for dice. If you want to try your hand at gambling, uh, it's possible to play the dice game of Farkle at every respectable tavern. The goal of this two-player game is to be the first to reach a certain number of points. Um, I think it's like you. In this game, it's two thousand five hundred. Um, but the one shown on the screen right now, the total is five thousand. Six dice are thrown, and the players alternate turns. Point, points are gained for every one or five thrown, and for every three or more of a kind of any other number. So, scoring is as follows. A one is worth 100 points. Five is worth 50 points. Three of a kind of all the others is worth 100 points multiplied by the number. For example, three fours is worth 400. Three ones is worth 1,000. Four or more of a kind is worth double the points of three of a kind. So four fours is worth 800 and... Um, five fours is worth 1,600. So, that's good. So you start by throwing all six dice. Then you have to select and then set aside scoring dice. So, ones, fives, and three of, threes of a kind. Fours of a kind. And you must select at least one die. Then, you can either... Throw all the remaining dice again, still being your turn, and try to get more points, or just finish your turn there and take the points you selected. The key element of the game is that if a throw does not produce a single scoring die, then the player's turn is over, and all points gained up to that point during the turn are lost. Therefore, it is advisable to end your turn using Q before there is a significant increase in the chance that you will not get a single scoring die. So, let's play. So we have scored um, two, a three, two fives and two sixes. So the two fives will get us 50 points each. That's a hundred. So we can set those aside and roll again. And press F. Score and roll again. This time, we got a one, two twos and a six. And we can set the one aside, we can select it, and roll these three, but there's a pretty good chance that I won't get a 1 or a 5 on the next turn with just 3 dice. So I can just score and pass. I'll take the 100 from the 1 and the 100 I've got banked from the two fives, and pass. So I've got 200 points. This guy got four, 3 fives. This will be the 1. He's going to set those aside and try again. He got another 3 fives. We'll Oh wow, look at that. Your turn. He won. Wow, we just lost all our gold. <laughs> Bloody hell, okay. We'll have to come up with something better for next time. He rolled really luckily there. Uh, we've got some shops here, we've got some fine linens. And uh, nothing that we could afford. A grocer. 
Blacksmith. Kettles for water, baskets for goods, and torches for the night. I have it all. Okay. Random townspeople. Trader. People sitting around. Have you made Uh, what's this building? This has got a, a sort of a trader's sign on this. We can go in here. We can Greetings. trade. She's wearing the same dress our mother is, actually. Let's talk trade. So we could buy apples, antidotes, beets, bandages. We don't have much money. Dried mushrooms, fine wine. Quilted brown jackets. That would look cool. That would look very neat on Henry, but we can't afford that. Cobbler's kit, blacksmith's kit. Various uh, bits and pieces. Yeah, we can't afford anything here. <laughs> We're off. Um, let's just check out the tavern area first. What's next? Another cutscene. Let's see what it is. There's Henry. You can't be serious, Dutch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to do. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitors. Now even the Pope God be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? These are all friends. Shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He okay. stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. So South Luxembourg? Bohemia is with Sigismund. And don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson, doesn't he, Fritz? Too I, Matthew. We should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it, to be honest. But... Really? Doing some turds will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? So, yeah, we're being, uh, we're being peer pressured into um, some minor... Uh, like graffiti, I suppose. Minor criminal damage to somebody's house. 
under the, the slightly suspect uh, guise of defending the honour of our king. But hey, that's that's <laughs> that's kids for you. Like I said, I mean, Henry and his friends are kind of dicks, but okay. Um, yeah, we'll do it. Fine, let's do it. Uh, we only get one shot at this, so let's oh, find well. out. Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. Okay, we're going to go to the Deutsches house. And by the way, this is the one quest um, that sort of everybody who's done the... who played in the beta has done. Just because it's 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 a funny quest, and you you get to throw throw some dung around. Who doesn't want to do that? Okay, so Matthew is the smart one. Fritz is he's an idiot. He really only oh, looks like an idiot as well. And Matthias just seems to be okay. Another cutscene. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. Smart. Then that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we're the hero, because we're the clever one. <sighs> so, um, if you don't know, and I, I bet you, if you're watching this, you probably do. If you don't say yes to the quest, they come and do it anyway. And it's possible you get blamed for it anyway. So you might as well at least watch it. May the Lord watch over you, Henry. The Deutsche's wife. Okay, so we need to distract her somehow. What Let's do you talk want, to her. Dad? Uh, your husband's making trouble. I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard. That sort of thing. Some people took exceptions, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the Popes! He might have mentioned the Popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. Yes, the Catholic Church, by the way, has had actually a pretty rocky history um, over the last 2,000 years. Um, there have been times when there's been more than one Pope, uh, each one claiming to be the true Pope. It's an odd situation. Um, if you're interested in history, then the great, the Holy Roman Empire is a great subject to read about. Oh, yuck. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> that's for Sigismund! That's... that... That uh, manure is going Holy flat shit. in a bad way. It you looks bastards! pretty moist, shall we say. What the fuck do you think you're doing?! <laughs> hey, Hans. Can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in the tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Oh, sons! Let's make those smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutscher? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion? Oh! <laughs> I've seen this I've seen this before, but that's so funny. Fucker! I'll make you pay for that! I love that. It's really well done, the animations. They're not the... You know... I love these cutscenes. They've really scripted them really nicely. It's a fight, is it? Okay. 
Uh, right. You. Oh, got kneed in the face there. Insulin. Well. How do we hit this guy then? Okay, punch. 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 Oops. Oh, kneed in the face again. We need to gain stamina. Keep moving. Remember the swordsman said keep moving, right? Okay, in the head. Oh, no. Wrong guy. Oops. This one, this one. Nope. Um. No, he's our friend. This one. That's it. Jab, 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 jab. Oops. Catch pose on his way. Run! Run! You Run. Run this way. Uh, where do we go? Where did everyone else go? Okay, we're lost. Um. What? Oh! Where'd you guys come from? Jesus, look where you're going. Sorry. It's a cow! Hi, cow. It's a bloke in a red coat. Okay. Trees. I think we've got away with it, boys. I think. To guard! Oh, he's not looking. He's not looking for us, okay. Do we need to clean ourselves up? Wash ourselves. We, you wash yourself as much as you can in a trough. Oh, our friends have gone. Okay. Hello. You won't talk to me now. Meet our friends at Kunesh's. Okay. Oh, these people are talking. To old Tonda from Tarbor, the one I buy goods from, and he said right away he'd take them. And how much do I want for them? Well now. I was surprised myself. I wasn't sure Betty would even want to sell them. So I asked for a high price, and he says. That's fine. I started counting out the coin there and then. Just like that? What I heard about him, he's a right skinflint. And what did Betty have to say? She was well pleased, as you can imagine. Even more when I told her Tonda will take everything she makes. That's great. A bit of extra coin never hurts. Okay, they're talking about trading or something. So where's our friends on the map? Here, behind Kunesh's. This must be Kunesh's house here. Okay. The guard there. We talk to you. Gate's closed. Okay. Hi, boys. Well done. Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let uh, him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. Anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> Cool, we got away with it. Anything else to talk about? Matthias? How did things end up at the Deutsches? His whole house is covered in shit. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch oh, on Oh, it's the same thing again. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. Good point. 
It's not as if anyone... Anyway. <laughs> okay, that's that done. Cool. So we've washed the dung off. Um, we have one more quest, and that is to... No, we have two more quests. We've got to get the, the stuff from Kunesh, and we need to get some ale. And I think those two quests can wait until the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be doing Let's Plays of Kingdom Come Deliverance by Warhorse Studios over the next few weeks. Should be one every single day, at least during the weekdays. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing and if you're playing this game as well. So, I am Agathis, I am going offline, and I will see you, and Kuyan Esh, and our father, and a bunch of other people, next time. <laughs>